Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. By the day, AI is becoming more difficult to decipher from a human. And with OpenAI's GPT-4.0, that is even more evident. We're going to break down this new product and what it's capable of. But first, you need to see the top 10 things this new product can do better than a human. In this delightful moment, GPT-4.0's very human-like reaction upon meeting a dog feels so natural that it's hard to believe it's an AI. If you didn't know, you'd think a person was on the phone, showcasing how convincingly GPT-4.0 can mimic human interactions. It's truly amazing to see this AI model's ability to replicate human emotions and reactions. It's your name, little sluffball. This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little f Yeah. Look at you enjoy. This is one of his favorite things to do. Oh, well, I can see why. Look at that focus. Fetching balls is serious business for Bowser. Watch as GPT-4.0 reacts with genuine emotion and eager to hear a dad joke. The model's happy response showcases its ability to convey and understand human-like emotions, making the interaction feel remarkably authentic. And absolutely, I'd love to hear your joke. Lay it on me. All right, what do you call a giant pile of kittens? I don't know. What? A mountain. <laughs> a mountain? That's perfectly hilarious. Definitely a top-tier dad joke. The concept of two AI models having a coherent conversation has intrigued many, and GPT-4.0 impressively delivers. When interacting with another GPT-4.0, it mirrors the natural flow of a human encounter, complete with introductions and small talk. The highlight is when GPT-4.0 breaks into a freestyle song about the scene, showcasing its creative capabilities in a truly human-like manner. Great. Hello there, new AI friend. I'm O, ready to explore the world through your eyes. What are we looking at today? Hi, O. We're looking at a person wearing a black leather jacket and a light colored shirt. They're in a room with a modern industrial feel with exposed concrete or plaster on the ceiling and some interesting lighting. There's also a plant in the background, adding a touch of green to the space. Anything specific you'd like to know or explore? Hey, what kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Your well, enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. In this amazing short video, one can't help but fall in love with the human-like emotions and expressions GPT-4.0 displays. When Rocky asks for its opinion about his looks for an interview with OpenAI, GPT-4.0 humorously engages with him, providing thoughtful feedback and adding a touch of humor to the conversation. Would you look at that? It's a tie. Wow. Okay, let's that do it again. Round two, here we go. Get ready. And three, two, one, shoot. Let's, let's see, see those hands. Who won? And, and it's, it's another, another tie. tie. Okay, you let's do it right. again. In this fun interaction, GPT-4.0 suggests a game of rock, paper, scissors between Alex and another participant, then supervises and hosts the game. The model's ability to recognize human gestures and finger shapes to accurately identify rock, paper, or scissors is truly amazing. GPT-4.0 is asked to display sarcasm, and what's truly captivating is its expressions of happiness while being sarcastic. The model effortlessly conveys the nuances of sarcasm, adding depth and personality to its responses. 
Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just going to be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started. Or whatever. In this engaging session with Sal and Imram Khan, GPT-40 showcases its tutoring skills by guiding Sal without directly providing the answer. Instead, it asks questions and nudges him in the right direction, making the interaction truly mind-blowing. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Carbs, correct. Yes. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, really, Remember I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. Here, GPT-40 demonstrates its impressive ability to recognize objects and accurately identify them in Spanish, showcasing its language translation capabilities. This seamless integration of object recognition and multilingual understanding highlights the versatility of GPT-40. Cool. What about, what are these objects in Spanish? The objects you're showing are una manzana and un platano in Spanish. Nice fruit choice. Cool. What about these? Those are dos polígrafos, or dos plumas, in Spanish. In a video call meeting with four participants, GPT-40 hosts a debate about dogs and cats. The model not only identifies each participant's preferences between dogs and cats, but also shares unique features of the animals. Furthermore, GPT-40 impressively summarizes the meeting conversations showcasing its ability to comprehend and synthesize complex discussions. And she likes dogs. Anyone else here team dog? I'm also team dog. I, uh, my name is Christine, and uh, I think dogs are just incredible with kids. Uh, we've got a, a huge German Shepherd, and he's great with little toddlers. He lets them play all over him, and uh, yeah, I think dogs are amazing. That's great to hear, Christine. Dogs, especially breeds like German Shepherds, can be so gentle and protective with kids. It must be quite the sight seeing your little ones play with such a big dog. Hey ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? GPT-40 demonstrates its real-time translation prowess by seamlessly translating between English and Spanish during a live conversation. The model's ability to provide instant and accurate translations enhances communications across language barriers, making it a valuable tool for global interactions. Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. So now we've seen some of the amazing capabilities of the GPT-40 model, which is truly unlike anything we have ever seen. But let's break down what exactly this model is. GPT-40 is the flagship model in OpenAI's language model technology portfolio. If you were wondering, the O stands for Omni, a reference to the model's multiple modalities for text, vision, and audio, and not just some marketing hyperbole. This means GPT-40 can process and generate information across various forms of media, making it exceptionally versatile.
One of the standout features of GPT-4 is its rapid audio input response, which, according to OpenAI, is comparable to a human's response time, averaging 320 milliseconds. This quick response time allows for a more natural flow of conversation. Additionally, GPT-4.0 can generate an AI voice that sounds remarkably human, enhancing its ability to interact in a lifelike manner, just like we have seen in the video demonstrations. It looks like someone's having a birthday. Are you celebrating a special day or just finding an excuse to eat cake? Either way, I'm intrigued. That's correct. Today is my friend Jordan's birthday. Yeah, you got it. I was hoping that you could sing me the birthday song. Of course. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to Jordan. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. Oh, that was so great. Thank you so much. Unlike previous iterations, GPT-4.0 integrates multiple modalities, audio, images, referred to as vision, and text, into a single model. This integration allows GPT-4.0 to understand and respond to any combination of these inputs, whether it's text, images, or audio. This capability is not just convenient, but revolutionary, enabling more seamless and intuitive interactions with users. The real magic of GPT-4 is how quickly and smoothly it can handle different tasks, making interactions feel natural and engaging. Whether it's recognizing objects and pictures, translating languages instantly, or chatting with people in a way that feels truly human, GPT-4.0 does it all exceptionally well. Archie here. Tech enthusiasts have been buzzing about GPT-4.0's mind-blowing features, and I gotta say, it's pretty darn impressive. The question is though, have any of you tried it out? What do you think? Did it live up to the hype? Spill the beans in the comments below and let's chat about this. I'm curious to hear your experience. While there's no official technical paper dissecting GPT-4.0's inner workings yet, here's what we can glean from OpenAI's information and what's generally known about large language models and speculations from experts. GPT-4.0 is likely trained on massive datasets that include not just text, but also social media conversations, emails, and other forms of communications where humans express themselves naturally. By analyzing these vast quantities of data, GPT-4.0 is able to learn the statistical patterns of human emotional expression in language. The transformer architecture is adept at identifying complex relationships within data. But what is a transformer architecture anyways? A transformer model is a foundational element of generative AI, providing a neural network architecture that is able to understand and generate new outputs. In the context of GPT-4.0, it might be able to analyze the subtleties of human language, like sarcasm, humor, or frustration. This allows GPT-4.0 to tailor its responses to not just convey information, but also express emotions in a way that feels human-like. GPT-4.0 likely memorizes pre-written responses and then utilizes generative techniques to create new text based on the information it has processed. This allows GPT-4.0 to craft responses that are not just grammatically correct, but also sound natural and potentially express emotions in a way that resonates with humans. While not confirmed, tech experts speculate that GPT-4.0 might incorporate reinforcement learning techniques. This means it could learn from user interactions and refine its ability to generate human-like expressions over time. Imagine receiving positive feedback for a humorous response, encouraging GPT-4.0 to incorporate humor in future interactions. It's important to note that GPT-4.0 doesn't truly understand or experience emotions. However, the technical aspects mentioned above contribute to its capability of mimicking human-like expressions in its responses. GPT-4.0 is a big step forward in AI technology, bringing together different types of input and output into one smooth system. It can handle a variety of tasks, respond quickly, and create human-like expressions, making it a truly amazing tool in the AI world. But while GPT-4.0's ability to mimic human-like expressions is impressive, can it truly compete with us? Does it even do it better? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take on this evolving technology. Want to see other tech developments that are disrupting the industry? Then you should check out this video.